Hi, my name is Matt Shaw from CAC Gas and Instrumentation. Today we're going to talk about the shelf life of calibration gas, how it is calculated, and how it may change. The composition of a gas mixture can only change through a reaction of its components with another material. The gas inside the cylinder is not lost, but rather it has reacted to form new compounds. There are many factors to consider when determining the shelf life of a calibration gas. We can divide all gas mixtures into two types, reactive and non-reactive. Reactive gas mixtures will have shorter shelf lives than non-reactive mixtures because they are unstable. They are typically filled in specially prepared aluminium cylinders with stainless steel valves. Reactive calibration gases include H2S, NO2, ammonia, chlorine, among others. Non-reactive gases are inherently stable and can be certified for a longer period of time. These gases include most hydrocarbons like methane, pentane, as well as other commonly used calibration gases such as CO, CO2 and nitrogen. The concentration of each component in reactive gas mixes can also affect the shelf life. In low concentrations, a few reactions can have a much larger effect on the overall composition of the mixture than the same number of reactions in a highly concentrated mixture. For example, reactions reducing 10 ppm chlorine to 5 ppm over a 12 month period compared with 2% chlorine being reduced to 1.998% in the same period of time. On a microscopic level, the interior walls of the cylinder must be as smooth as possible. If the walls are rough, it allows the gas to come into contact with a larger surface area where it may react with the cylinder material itself or any contaminants hiding in the rough surface. Improved cylinder design and materials has been a significant reason for gas mixtures to be extended in recent times. In addition to better quality materials, larger containers allow for longer shelf life in high pressure cylinders, simply because the ratio of internal surface area to gas volume is substantially less and therefore less potential for reaction. For more information, please subscribe to the CAC Gas blog at the link below. Alternatively, you can check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.